Hey guys, Twitch, uh, I mean Double here, and welcome to Pokemon Soul Silver version. This is my 20th Let's Play, starting on my 4th anniversary of Let's Playing. Um, no info needed, thanks. <coughs> oh, yeah. huh? It's already become so bright outside. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Okay, something I'd just like to break in here. I miss how Gen 3 allowed you to set the tech speed to fast before you did the opening cutscene. In fact, I think there's actually a couple more text boxes I have to go through in this game before I can. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. See, it's like so slow. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I wonder if the Zelda thing works in this game. I've never tried it. We humans... Oh, holding A, fast forward to it. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? I am a boy, in case you couldn't tell. Some people think I'm younger than I am, but I've never been called a girl. And my name? Uh, I'm trying to remember this game because I think humans... Because I'm trying to match... I think humans were like that and Pokemon were still all caps. I know Gen... I know Gen 5 everything is like that, and Gen 6 too. Are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences, there's so much awaiting you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. So, yeah, we can't... Here's a Wii. It's a Wii! We is huge in Johto too. Okay. Um, isn't that kind of breaking the fourth wall there, guys? Come on. Hi, Connor. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She's playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Okay, I was at least right. Yes, I was right. Okay, good. Okay, I almost forgot. Your acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to get out? You need... Here, use this bag to carry things. I don't know why they did it this way. Like, even giving you the ability to save. That's kind of random. And she doesn't even explain the options. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So, first thing I'm going to do is go down to the options, set that to fast. Uh, let's just make this something cool. Uh, I don't know this, sure. Shit. <sighs> let's go the other way. Ooh, I actually like that. So, uh, just a quick telling to you guys. I don't believe there's actually text here, but um, I'm playing this on an emulator, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Soul Silver and Heart Gold are regarded as like huge glitch fests. Like these, this um, sorry about that. It looks like it's harder to hear, which is better. But um, oops, they're like. I think there was an anti-piracy thing put in, so the game would crash every 20 trainer battles or something. Um, but there are patches. I'm not gonna link one, as that's against my channel rules anyway, but uh, just Google it. They are fairly easy to find now. And yeah. Hi Connor, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. Kind of, actually. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. 
Queue up besides this po beside this Pokemon out of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people. The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. <coughs> hey, at least you didn't get an email. Uh, <laughs> Why would the email be a phone ring? I, I guess it's because they were too lazy to put a new sound effect, so they just used the Poke Gear, but whatever. Hmm, uh huh, okay. Hey, listen. Hey, Navi. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're so, still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know! So you were complaining to me before you even decided to send me? You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. So... Um, starter Pokemon. Let's start here because Chikorita is the first in Pokedex order. Uh, Chikorita is a grass type. Something I'd just like to quickly mention, all Johto starters. Johto's the only region uh, where all the starters don't gain a second type at all. They all stay pure grass, pure fire, pure water. Which is kind of poopy, but whatever. Chikorita is sort of a grass type. It's similar to all the other grass stars, besides Trico. Trico was kind of different, and I think Snivy and Chespin are a little different too, but similar to Bulbasaur, and yeah. I guess I went the wrong way, but whatever. <laughs> Totodile is a water type. Uh, Totodile is actually my favorite aesthetically. The problem is this game has so many good water types to use that Totodile and its evolution line just become sort of weird. Also, Totodile is the latest starter to evolve. Actually, I think it's tied with Turtwig at 18, but then it evolves at 30, which I always found really weird. But yeah, I, I really do like Totodile, and I have used him on a numerous amount of playthroughs. But as I said, there's just so many better water types in this game. And last but not least, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is the only pure fire starter. I just realized that. <laughs> wow. Anyway, Cyndaquil, um, he's my second favorite, I guess. Uh, Generally, when you hear people talk about easy mode, hard mode, and normal mode in uh, Pokemon, he's the normal mode. Totodile is easy and Chikorita is hard. Uh, the reason I think people go by that is because Chikorita is weak to the first two gyms. However, there's always Pokemon to catch before those gym you get to those gyms that are super effective, so I don't really get that. But anyway, I'm going with Cyndaquil. Received Cyndaquil from Professor Al. That looks so bad. Name with Lorik. <sighs> yes, I will be nicknaming it. It's female. I actually didn't have a name planned out for female. If you have any suggestions for what to name Cyndaquil, put them in the comment section. Because I didn't have a name planned out that works for a female Cyndaquil. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? We can take. You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's easy to use, just check the PC on my desk. <coughs> po Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Connor. I'm gonna have to get used to Connor, not double. Connor, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Because. Well, I Last Pokemon game I LP'd would have been White 2, which I guess I was third year on in that. Before, I think I, it was XD. Whoa. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think yours is in danger. And unfortunately, we're gonna get interrupted. Connor! So you picked a Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it will become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show your mom? See ya. Bye. 
Let's talk to this kid up here. He looks cool. No, nope, no. Nope. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Woo! So anyway. Um This game's kind of annoying because you walk so slowly, yet you don't get running shoes for a little bit. It's difficult to walk up the, uh, the the path, basically. Sure, monsters will jump out, but I have Cyndaquil now. And no matter what you say here, she's gonna tell you how, anyway. Just power on the poke again and touch the telephone button, okay? Wow! I said I do know how to use it. Thanks, Mom! Required tutorial. So... Anyway, sidetrack, the reason that I brought up the fact that I'm playing this on an emulator is because you will notice graphical glitches every once in a while. Um, I'll put them out maybe the first time, but I'm not gonna make... I'll say I'm not gonna make a big deal, but I probably will make a big deal. Maybe not a big deal, just poopy 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 or something. So we got Elm's phone number. Uh, an upgrade Soul Silver and Heart Gold had compared to uh, Gold, Gold Silver and Crystal is um, you don't have a limited number of Poke Gear. No, well, technically you do because only a limited number of trainers will give you their number, but <laughs> the, you're not restricted to. I think it was ten. And I can't remember if that included Elm, Oak, and your mother because you're required to have those three. I can't remember. And I'm gonna talk about wild Pokemon after the, um, after uh, I get Pokeballs. Also, something introduced in, I can't remember if it was Platinum or this game, that I believe is still in the series to this day, and I'm just going to avoid the grass for now. I know I don't normally do that, but it's just a tackle fest. But anyway, um, what was I about to talk? Poop, poop, poopy. Oh, the art will probably have the wild Pokemon. Um. In case you don't know, that's Pokearo's artwork. He's pretty cool. You guys should follow him on Twitter. And anyway, is it not gonna work? Th this is one of my favorite graphical glitches, and it's actually in what, the main game, or the legit game. Wow, if you get away from his face in uh, the game, real game, I guess, then he his face sort of fades out. And it's not happening here. Well, I think that's enough for this episode. So let's talk to Cyndaquil. Looks like it wants to lead. Well, too bad, it can't. Even if I wanted it to, it couldn't. But anyway, I will see you guys next time as my hat catches on fire, probably. Bye-bye.